Zook's robo-taxis have gotten the green light to begin testing in San Francisco. Our media partners at the SF Standard captured this video of a Zook's vehicle last week. Unlike in a Waymo, you won't find a steering wheel. Zook says its automatic vehicle is a purpose-built robo-taxi. I think it's exciting. It's interesting. You know, these Scott Moore are- is an associate professor at UC Berkeley and director of California Partners for Advanced Transportation Technologies. They have four wheel steering so they can maneuver in cities uh, a bit easier. They've got seating that looks like the inside of a train car where passengers are facing one another. ABC7 news reporter Leanne Melendez went for a ride a few months ago. Previously, Zooks was only offering rides to employees at its Foster City campus. It's almost like being on a nice bus. The vehicle is designed to be bi-directional. What could be the front can also be the back. According to Zooks, testing will be focused in Soma right now. The public will have to wait a little longer to take a ride. Rides are only available for Zooks employees during this initial testing phase. People we talk to are curious about the latest robo-taxi. Nurko Matavani of San Francisco has taken a Waymo and loved it. I've only tried it once, and I think the, the experience was great. Yeah, I feel safer because they are uh, because I, I trust them more than humans, probably. Others have reservations about robo-taxis. I see them stuck in the street every once in a while, not being able to maneuver through. I'm not sure how I feel about AVs being trained in real-life situations when there's so many unpredictable things. Edward Escobar is with the Alliance for Independent Workers and previously drove for Uber and Lyft. We are ushering in the new age of AI and San Francisco is the testing grounds. So this is a springboard for the future of transport. Escobar says he isn't opposed to technology and innovation, but he says it's important to make sure new systems are safe. This is the wave of the future, uh, but we have to usher in the rollout so it is safe. Public safety is number one. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.